Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick check on the temps. Uh, definitely cool for June. Just 60s and low 70s in our normal hot spots, including Gilroy at 72, King City at 73, so a solid about 8 degrees below average, uh, maybe a little more in some spots. 70 in Hollister and just 60s, Watsonville, Salinas, Carmel Valley, and Monterey at 66. Of course, the extra sunshine made it really nice at the coast. It was pretty windy at times this afternoon, but you know what? It wasn't too bad of a breeze in terms of the temperatures because the bay has warmed up mid-50s now to upper 50s, so not as cold as it was a few weeks ago. Wind's still out there, 10 to 20 miles an hour right now. We've had some gusts. Yesterday, we had a gust to about 46 in San Francisco. Today, 31, 29-mile-an-hour gust in Monterey and a 30-mile-an-hour gust over in Hollister. So that's a, that's a pretty breezy day, especially for June. April and May are really our windiest months. A satellite and radar showing all clear except up towards the northern part of the state where there's actually a little rain just north of Chico right now in Redding. Uh, you can see there's a little frontal boundary. You can see uh, right over us right now, those high clouds, if you see those outside, there they are. It's kind of the leading edge of this area of low pressure with all of this cool air. So you can look at all of this and you can say, yeah, it's damp and cool out over the Pacific. Not enough moisture to make rain, but definitely enough to keep our temperatures down. There are a few showers again to our north, but nothing down here or over the Sierra. You can see the bulk of the showers are up towards uh, Eugene and eastern part of, uh, you know, up to Portland, east of all the major cities are dry, but, you know, you get out into the eastern plains there and you've got some moisture. Look at all the lightning strikes out towards Billings, Great Falls, and heading into the Dakotas, uh, but we won't see any of that. So there's all that cool, damp air that's out there. So we really won't be able to warm up tomorrow. And even on Thursday, we'll still sort of be under the influence of that trough. By Thursday night into Friday, atmosphere starts to warm up a little bit. The next pulse of cold air stays more to our north, and that allows the heat to rebuild in some form or fashion. It won't be a heat wave, but we'll see more 80s popping up probably by Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow, just middle and upper 70s in the Central Valley. That is a very cool afternoon for them. 56 in Tahoe for a high temperature, so that's chilly. And 97 and 96 in Palm Springs, Vegas. They're around 100, 104 by average this time of year. And middle 70s down in Southern California. So really nice temperatures and nobody's getting too hot, at least for another day or two. Microcast showing the wind, which has been a factor the last few days. That'll lighten up overnight. We may form a few patches of low clouds around the bay. We'll see. Not expecting much. And then tomorrow afternoon will be breezy and sunny and nice again. There's that west to northwest wind at about 10 to 25 miles an hour. That is causing the small craft advisories to stay up through the night and into tomorrow. So do watch out for that. Wind swell running at about 2 to 4 feet. A little bit of south swell, so a tiny bit of surf, not much. But again, watch out if you're planning a day on the bay. You're probably going to get blown off the bay pretty quick. 42 to 50 for you overnight. Pretty chilly. You wouldn't expect low to mid 40s this time of year, but we've got them. 44 King City, 45 Ben Lomond, 47 San Jose, 46 Watsonville. So a jacket in the morning, nice in the afternoon, 60s and low 70s. Gusty ocean breeze by the bay. And breezy afternoon for the valleys and hills, mid 60s to low 70s. No big ranges out there tomorrow. 60 in San Francisco, 68 San Jose, Santa Cruz Mountains, low 70s, upper 60s. Same thing at the coast, upper 60s, low 70s. And you'll notice that everyone's about the same. 68 Coralitas, 69 Morgan Hill, warmer spots. Gilroy, 71, 69 Hollister, 67 Aromas, middle 60s to low 60s. Prunedale and 60 in Moss Landing. About 65 Salinas and just low 70s down the Salinas Valley. And 60s will do it for the peninsula, low to mid 60s, 61 Seaside Marina, 66 Carmel Valley, and 61 in Carmel tomorrow. Your KSBW 8 day forecast looking fairly steady at the coast. No marine layer just yet, but we'll be back probably by Friday or Saturday, and then our fog will return. 60s and 70s through the weekend, but more low clouds expected. Really nice conditions for the valleys and hills with a mix of 60s and upper 70s, and then warmer temperatures Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 70s to low 80s back, so summer makes a return by the weekend. Really delightful stuff. Yeah, I, I like that change, you know, yeah. just getting something going on because June can be pretty dismal at the yeah. coast some years. So <laughs> it can be, that yeah, June so that, gloom. That, that break of sunshine. Uh, we'll talk hurricanes here on the weather quiz. Okay, because we're coming up on that season too, well, aren't we? Well, it has started, uh, although we haven't had any storms. Uh, the most dangerous quadrant of a hurricane is what? The right front quadrant, the left front quadrant or the left rear. I think they're all pretty dangerous, but I think it's the front quadrants that are the most dangerous. And maybe I'm going to go with right because you get the whip. I don't know. 
Well, because that's, that's generally where the storm's moving, right? So you get the forward momentum of the storm itself and all of the wind. wind so that right. northeast quadrant tends to be the worst. That's where the water piles up, too. Right. So you get the biggest storm surge on the right side of a hurricane in the northern hemisphere. All right. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome.